Welcome to part five. Um, once you've coloured in the face and you're happy that there aren't any holes in the outline of the face or the hair, then we are going to proceed to colouring in the neck and just doing the outline of the clothes underneath. This bit is quite tricky, but as long as you make a new layer and you put the neck and shirt layer at the top, you should be okay. So we're going to use the line tool to make the neck and the shirt, but we need to make sure that we don't have any holes. So just take your time on this one, you'll see that I'll probably make some mistakes. If you make a mistake, remember Control Z, undo, edit, undo. And I'm going to make sure that I go right up to the bottom of the chin. What I have to do as well is I have to go around the chin where the shirt looks as though it's joining onto the chin as well. You'll see what happens when I take the head and face off in a moment when I undo that layer. Just keep going around the outside of your clothes all the way to the edge of the screen. Remember, you need to go right to the edge of your canvas, right to the edge of the screen because you don't want any holes. So you can see I've gone right off the screen there, right off the canvas. That's so the paint doesn't, doesn't bleed later. I'm going to go up um, where it joins around. You'll see why I do this in a moment and I do go and redo the chin in a moment. Go around right to the edge of the clothes. And then again go right off the canvas. There. That's what it looks like towards the end. I'm going to make sure, can you see that I've joined up the neck in the corners where Matthew's chin is as well. Turn it back on, you can see how the head looks. Now you're almost ready to colour in.